making some really cool pop-ups. Uh, we're going to end with this frog that kind of can squint and do cool things like blink. Looks a little bit like Kermit the Frog, and it's really easy. You could all do these things, but we'll start out with making this simple step. Make sure you have scissors and, um, and paper, and let's get started. So you need your paper and some scissors, and whatever your scissors look like, that's great, as long as they're right for you. And let's start folding this paper. So this is called the step pop-up, and it's really easy. Everybody can do it. You want to just fold your paper in half like I'm doing, the short side to the short side, turn it over so that it's opening away from you. Like if it was a talking piece of paper, it would, talking, would not be talking to you. So this closed folded side is right in front of you. Grab your scissors and you're going to make two cuts, one and two. And if they're a little higher, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter even if they're crooked, it'll still work and you want to fold it up, that little piece, up to the top of your paper. So it looks kind of like this. Then we're going to open it up from the top, remember? Open it sideways like this, and now what we want to do is reverse this middle fold. So that means we want it to pop up. So you just kind of lift it like that, you can crease it, and then we actually need to change this fold too to be an, a reversed fold. So we just close it and smash it, and now when you open it, you get this nice step pop-up. Now the second level of doing this is you actually, I'm gonna close it again, where it's all together, make two cuts in this piece, fold it up just like we did before, and now what you can do, we still have to reverse some of this fold, so we bring it forward like it was in the step, right? You can get to this point. And then this one we're going to fold back. So see, I'm just kind of from the side, or from this side, this is the back side. I'm just kind of pinching it and then smashing the whole card together. So that now we have just, like, it looks like a little chair or something that we've created. And the cool thing with this pop-up is you could attach anything onto this and then it will pop up when people open the card or whatever you're making. You could even just display it kind of popped up on a table and it looks really cool. So that is a simple pop-up. Now let's make something out of this. We're gonna make a frog face. And this is really simple. I know I always say that, but it really is. So what you're gonna do is fold the right side of your paper to the left side or left to right. How it gets there isn't as important as the fact that it gets there. And then what you're going to do is cut a line, oh, turn it so that it opens away from you, so you're facing it, the closed side. You're going to take your scissors and just cut a line in your paper like that. So you create like these two flaps. And then we're going to make this flap into a triangle. Do you see that? And you could make it go straight up and down, this part isn't as important. So you can kind of think of making like a line with these pieces here and then bring this one up and make a triangle. So then when you open it, it looks like this. This isn't yet a frog's face, right? Not quite, but almost. So now we're going to do that reverse folding thing trick where we have to pull this side forward, we pull this side forward, and then we're going to smash it closed again. And sometimes before I smash it, or I close it again, I'll just kind of fold, start folding a little bit when it's open like this, because sometimes if you don't do that, it's really hard to close it again. So then you close it, smash it, whoops, don't rip it like I did. Open it up and there you have some kind of beak or a, like a frog mouth. And now what we're going to do is create some eyes right here. And we're going to do the same technique we just did. Use the same technique. So close it, take your scissors, cut a little piece right there so you have like a little line. Then we're going to fold these and make these into two triangles. And you have two sides, so we'll fold the top side first, then we'll flip it over and that cut went all the way through the paper, we can see it here. And then we'll fold these ones up into triangles as well. 
And then when we open it up, we have the same looking thing that we had down here. And we need to reverse it. So we just kind of start folding it a little bit this way, and then we'll smash it all together. So you kind of pop it out first. Let's try this side. So this is kind of the trickiest part of these pop-ups, is reverse folding. So I'm just lifting it up and creasing it where there already is a fold. We're not making a new one. There's already one there. And then we're gonna close it. And hopefully that stays out. It should stay out and it should look like this when it's closed. So that when you open it, ta-da! Frog face! Ah, ah, ah. And you could add another piece of paper behind this if you wanted to, so that you could add like some color. There's a lot, you could add drawings to the top of it. It looks pretty cool having like another color. I've even done it with my kids where we put like eyes inside of it so that when the eyes opened, it was really nice and wide. So this is the frog vase. And you could probably make it into another animal. I just think it looks a little bit like a frog. So good luck. I hope you liked, oh let's see, I hope you liked making this project and that you learned how to make a pop-up. Um, this isn't working very well, huh? Yeah, I can't, I'm not, I can't do that. <laughs> but I hope you liked making these. Now I, what I want you to do is to take this frog, oh this eyebrow, oh there we go, and you can add some paper behind it. Let's just pretend this is a whole sheet of paper. You could add eyes behind it maybe glue the insides of this into a piece of paper you folded in half so that it's inside of a card like a pop-up and give it to someone that you like or someone um someone that you feel like could use some cheering up give them a card that's always a nice thing to do for people and then also something you can do is you know how to make this simple step pop up what you could do is add more layers to this like cut into here and pop that out or you could um put something on this that will pop up like a heart or draw a cool picture for someone that you could put on there. And, and have a fabulous day.